Your vehicle may be equipped with the convenience of our Homelink system. Homelink replaces up to three remote controls or handheld transmitters that operate devices such as garage door openers, motorized gates, lighting, or home security systems. The Homelink control buttons are located in the overhead console. If you haven't programmed any of the Homelink buttons yet, be sure to erase all channels before you begin. To do this, push and hold the two outside buttons for up to 20 seconds until the indicator flashes. For more efficient training and accurate transmission of the radio frequency signal, it is recommended that a new battery be placed in the handheld transmitter of the device being programmed to Homelink. The Homelink unit is powered by your vehicle's battery and does not require battery replacement. When programming the Homelink system, your vehicle should be parked outside of the garage. If your garage door opener was manufactured after 1995, it may have a rolling code. These garage door openers can be identified by the Learn or Train button located where the hanging antenna is attached to the garage door opener. So let's take a minute and talk about how to program a rolling code. To start, put the ignition in the on run position, but don't start the engine. Place the handheld transmitter 1 to 3 inches or 3 to 8 centimeters away from the home link button you wish to program while keeping the home link indicator light in view. Now, simultaneously push and hold both the home link button you want to program and the handheld transmitter button. Continue to hold both buttons and observe the indicator light. The home link indicator will flash slowly and then rapidly after Homelink has received the frequency signal from the handheld transmitter. Release both buttons after the indicator light changes from slow to rapid blinking. OK, now you're ready for the next steps. At the garage door opener motor in the garage, locate the Learn or Training button. It can usually be found where the hanging antenna wire is attached to the garage door opener motor. The name and color of the button may vary by manufacturer. It is not the button normally used to open and close the door. You will have 30 seconds in which to initiate the next step after the Learn button has been pushed, so this might work better as a two-person job. Now, firmly push and release the Learn or Training button, return to the vehicle, or have someone in the vehicle to push the programmed Homelink button twice, holding the button for two seconds each time. If the opener is plugged in and activates, programming is complete. If the device does not activate, push the button a third time for two seconds to complete the training. A quick note though, if your garage door opener was manufactured before 1995, it may have a non-rolling code. So let's take you through programming a non-rolling code. Put the ignition in the on-run position, but don't start the engine, and hold the battery side of your handheld transmitter away from the home link button you wish to program. Place the handheld transmitter 1 to 3 inches or 3 to 8 centimeters away from the home link button while keeping the indicator light in view. Now, simultaneously push and hold both the chosen home link button and the handheld transmitter button until the home link indicator changes from a slow to a rapidly blinking light, then release both the home link and the handheld transmitter buttons. When the indicator changes, it is programmed. It may take up to 30 seconds or longer in rare cases. The garage door may open and close during programming. To check your programming, push and hold the just programmed home link button and observe the indicator light. If the indicator light stays on constantly, then programming is complete and the garage door or device should activate when the home link button is pushed. On vehicles equipped with a security alarm, home link will be disabled if the alarm is active. If you have any problems or require assistance, Please call toll free 1 800 355 3515 or on the internet at homelink.com for information or assistance. Please refer to the instruction manuals on the Owner's Information DVD or dodge.com slash en slash owners slash manuals for complete details and other important safety information.